Many times in the PICU, we order something called a mixed venous saturation. Many of us know how to find the order, but few of us know how to interpret it. Today we're going to talk about how to interpret a mixed venous saturation and how we can use this information to clinically manage our patients. To start off with, the first thing we're going to explain is what a mixed venous saturation is. A mixed venous sat is a marker of oxygen delivery to the tissues. In order to develop a clear understanding of the factors that influence the delivery and utilization of oxygen, it is necessary to have a clear understanding of the terms used to describe this process. The first concept that I would like to define is called oxygen content. This is the oxygen bound to hemoglobin plus the oxygen that is dissociated in the blood. The equation is 1.34 times the patient hemoglobin times their SAT plus 0.003 times the patient's PaO2. The next term that I would like to define is oxygen delivery. The global delivery of oxygen throughout the body is defined as the product of the oxygen content in the arterial blood and the blood flow or cardiac output and is expressed by the following equation, CaO2 times cardiac output. Oxygen consumption is also an integral part of oxygen metabolism. Simply, it is defined as the oxygen that is utilized by the organ or tissue and can be calculated by the CaO2, which is your arterial oxygen content, minus your venous oxygen content multiplied by the patient's cardiac output. Lastly, the oxygen extraction ratio is the fraction of the arterial oxygen content that is consumed as the blood transverses the organs or tissues. It is determined by dividing the difference of the arterial and venous oxygen content by the arterial oxygen content. Normally, oxygen extraction is only 20 to 30%, indicating a significant excess of oxygen that's being delivered to the tissues. This allows for extra cushion should oxygen delivery be compromised. Putting all of these concepts together, we can calculate the mixed venous oxygen saturation with this equation circled here. Now let's get back to talking about our mixed venous saturation. Let's think of this like a train station. As you can see in this graphic depiction, Hemoglobin acts as a train cars and oxygen acts as the passenger. When hemoglobin is carried through the blood, oxygen gets unloaded and delivered to the tissues. By the time the oxygen and hemoglobin have traveled through the arterial system, about 25% of oxygen is left on hemoglobin. This leaves the difference of 75%. This number is our mixed venous sat. Like we just talked about, the normal oxygen extraction to the body is about 25%. However, certain organs take up more oxygen than others. For example, the heart uses 60% of the oxygen that's delivered to it, while the liver uses between 45 and 55% of the delivered oxygen, and the kidneys only use about 15% of the oxygen that they get. Now let's talk about where a mixed venous sat should be measured. Typically, you want a mixed venous sat to reflect your most deoxygenated blood, which would be found at the pulmonary artery. To do this, you need to use a Swan-Gans catheter, which most of our patients in the ICU typically don't have. Most of our patients in the ICU do not have a catheter sitting in their pulmonary artery. So the next best thing would be to draw blood from the right atrium. If your patient has an IJ catheter, the blood sample can be obtained from this line. If the mixed venous sat is drawn from a femoral CVL, the result may not be as accurate. Please make sure that your nurse doesn't draw your sample from an art line. This frequently occurs and yields false results. A low mixed venous saturation is defined as a value less than 60%. This may be due to something like anemia, for which you would give the patient blood, low cardiac output, which you could augment by giving volume or pressors, 
or hypoxemia, which you can augment by increasing the patient's FiO2. A high mix venous sat is defined by a percentage greater than 80. This may be seen with impaired cellular or mitochondrial oxygen uptake with increased oxygen delivery, which may be seen in your patient that's receiving too much FiO2, or in high flow states such as sepsis or hyperthyroidism. Occasionally, it can be seen in patients that are brain dead, where the brain is no longer able to extract oxygen. Before we conclude this talk, I wanted to leave you with three take home points about mixed venous sats. A mixed venous sat is used to determine oxygen delivery. It's what is left over in the venous system after all the blood has gone through and delivered oxygen to the tissues. It is ideally obtained from the pulmonary artery, but when you don't have a pulmonary artery catheter in place, it can be obtained from an IJ catheter that sits in the right atrium. Thank you for your time. I hope you learned something today.